What's up everyone? Welcome to your 30 minute arms and legs builder. We're gonna go superset style today. So we've got biceps, triceps, shoulders, and then some quad focused work as well. All you're gonna need is your dumbbells, a heel elevated block if you have it, and your bench, and we'll go ahead and get started. So grab your water and your sweat towel and let's go. All right, let's open and cross your arms, reaching your fingertips back so we can stretch out the biceps. We'll go arms and then legs for the warm up. Just want to kind of get you moving, big circles. So proud of you for showing up today. And switch directions. Gonna get a good pump starting off in the whole first half of the workout being upper body, then we'll hit lower body. All right, palms face the floor. Drop your ear, side to side. There you go, two, one. Hands up and we're gonna bend and reach your thumbs back for the upper part of your back. Taking your elbows nice and high and opening up as much as you can. Good, three, two, one. And hands on your hips, heels to glutes. And throughout our rest periods with upper body, I'll make sure to kind of give a little lower body stretch or activation just to keep the blood flow there. Good, wide stance, sit it down. Shift, 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 and stand. Let's go for four, three, two, one. There you go, hands on your hips, reach back and stand. And let's go ahead and get started with our bicep work. Hammer curls, let's go. Alternating left and right. In the builder format today, Groups up two exercises of very similar muscle groups. Okay, so we've got double bicep here in the beginning. Make sure the work is happening in front of your body so you're not swinging back here. Okay, elbow stays by your side or in front. Rest. I'm gonna drop one weight and go supinated curls. Okay, so just make sure elbows aren't going back here and you're not swinging back here. Everything's out front or at your side. Ready? And here we go. Good, stay conscious of your wrists too. On the way down, try to keep the curl, maybe flex them just a little bit more toward your elbow instead of getting up for the curl and then reaching away so they just kind of fall down. As much tension as we can. Two. And great job, there we go. So, two more rounds of that. Okay, if you get too tired and need to modify, keep the alternating, but just give it a little shake out. Let's go. And also, when you start to get tired, keep in mind that any range of motion is good towards the end of fatigue. So if you can only get to here, towards the end, just keep that moving. Okay, I'd rather you stay there and give me what you got than quit and rest, okay? We wanna get everything we can out of each work period. And rest, beautiful. Back to supinated. Open your wrists up, shake your hands out. You're doing good. Keep pulling. Three, two, here we go. Up. Good job with your breathing. And if you're not breathing, that was a little reminder. Eight, seven. Whew. One more together. Two. All right. One more round of both. If you've got the potential, let's go heavier, but I'd rather you do great reps with good power. Okay? Big pulls here. Three. Two. All right, come on. Nice 
Nice work. Ten. Come on, biceps. You got this. Seven. Breathe, breathe. One more together. Two. Nice work. All right. Supinated. Open the palms up. Keep pulling. Three. All right, let's go. You won't hit biceps in the next superset, so give me all you got right here. Pull, pull, pull. Come on. Ten. If I'm going by now, my weakness keep on lingering. Can we hit one more together? Three, two, and rest for 30. Great work. We're gonna go for a little tricep superset next. So you've got skull crushers and tricep kickbacks. If you wanna bring your bench out, you can do that. Okay. Skull crushers can be on the floor or on the bench. Totally up to you. That'll be heavier. Tricep kick kickbacks will be lighter. All right, let's get it. Two, one. Good work. Eight, seven. And rest. Whew. All right. Probably lighter weights for your standing kickbacks. And if you want to use your bench, you can also utilize our flat kickbacks that we've been doing. Totally up to you. Just give me a hinge. Keep your elbows right by your side. Let's go. Good, get the most out of each rep here. You're gonna feel a lot different when you keep your elbow by your side. Two. Great work. All right, back to the skull crushers. And if you're having trouble with this one, you can go standing overheads too. Let's go. Just want this one to be a little heavier than your tricep kickbacks, okay? <sighs> 10. <sighs> Two. Great job. Okay, lighter weight. You can go totally flat on the bench or standing. I want your back to be parallel with the floor. Two. All right, let's go. Every rep is your best rep. Round of both. Six, five. Ready? All right, let's go. Almost there. Exhale. Second half. Come on.
You want to keep this good connection. Let the burn happen. You just keep pushing. Two. Oh, good. All right. Triceps, 30 more seconds with you. And then we'll move on to a little shoulder work. Lightweight shoulder work. Two, one. All right, come on. If you get tired, just take one arm at a time. Just keep going. Nice work, 12. Six. Push, 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 you got this. Three, two, and 30 seconds to rest. Good job. I'm gonna leave these tens out, actually. Move my bench out of the way, because we don't need that right now. We've got front raise, side raise combo. So both arms to the front, both to the side, and then curl pulses. Okay, so potentially one weight heavier for the pulses. All right, ready? Come on. Let's go, four. And rest. Now your pulses, we've done alternating. We're gonna do these together though. So come right to pretty much chest level and hip. Chest, hip. All right, don't let your elbows swing back here. Keep them here. Three. Let's go. Nice work. Seven. And rest. There's a lot of control there. Okay, so on the way down, I'm going nice and slow. When I come back up, I'm just giving a little bit more power. Five seconds, front raise, side raise. Two, ready? All right, come on, let's go. Think about the connection here. Speed is useless without connection, okay? Especially in a strength workout like this. Four, finish this rep, two, one, good. Dumbbells down, rest your hands. The pulse is, let's keep it with the same tempo per arm, okay? You're doing good, two, let's go. Can you keep your chin up? There we go. Look up, look up, you're doing good. Six. Three. One. The reason I say look up is because you can tend to kind of start rounding everything when you tuck your chin, you're like, this is hard, right? Stay upright. Last round of both. Front, inside, two, one, up. Nine, come on. You're almost done with your arms. Three, two, good job. Rest them for a second. 30 seconds, 
slow power, slow power. Ready? All right, then bounce up. Two, one, pull. Let's go, let's go. Six. Two. And rest. I don't know what this was, but we're done with that one. <laughs> you need to tap your toes or kick your heels. I get it. On an upper body exercise, I'm always doing something lower body to kind of distract. Speaking of that, we're moving into upper body. We're moving out of upper body. We're moving into lower body. Step ups, heel elevated squats. Okay, we're alternating left and right. Four. Ready? Let's go. If you don't have a step up box or bench or chair, you're doing a forward lunge, standing right up on top. Then come back and switch. Eight, seven, and rest. Good, now grab your yoga block if you have one. If you don't, you can also put some dumbbells down and just lift your heels up. I'm gonna take this single dumbbell from the ones that I just used for my squat here. Ready? And this one you can focus on range of motion. This is not too heavy, you're going really deep. Good. Heel elevated is really good for those of us with limited range of motion due to ankle mobility. It's also just great to really target your quads. Two, one, great job. Back to step ups. And move your block completely out of the way. Ready? Round two, pick them up, let's go. Nice job, big push, 12. One more, four. Rest. Heel elevated, we're back to you. And if you wanna go heavier, let's do it. Really push into the ball of your foot. Let's go. Six, five. And rest. Okay, last round here. Step it up. Just make sure everything is clear. Try to give me all the power in one leg going up and down. Two, let's go. Load it up, come on. Stay strong. Eight. Three, two, rest. All right, finish it out right here. Ready? Grab the dumbbell, four, two, one. Good work.
more, come on. 12. Push quads, you got seven, six, three. Last one together. Rest. Good work. Good work. RDLs and reverse lunges. So two dumbbells that you're holding the whole time. Okay, unless you have a barbell or something different than dumbbells today. All right, RDLs, we start with you. Three, let's go. Send the hips back, squeeze to bring them forward. Four. And rest. Perfect. Take one of those dumbbells for your reverse lunges. When you step back, you're just gonna tap, not switch. Okay, right here. Left leg first, let's go. to RDLs. I want you to keep alternating on these. If you don't have to lift your leg, you can just stagger if you need that modification. Two, let's go. Really think about your hip here. Hip bends and then it opens back up. job with the hip bend everything below and above it just stays strong two good all right lunge just switch legs from what you did last time single leg ready step it back and let's go In the last round of these, we're gonna go two dumbbells and they're gonna tap underneath a leg, okay? So keep it moving right here. Eight, seven, two, Woo, rest. Good job. All right, RDL's last round. If you wanna go heavier, let's go. Good balance is everything here. Two. Let's go. Nice work, you got seven. dumbbells out for your reverse lunge you're gonna sit touch the dumbbells you don't have to go to the ground okay but I do not want you rounding okay so if the tap compromises your form don't tap let's go just want you sitting low enough to touch there's just a little pause there keep your chest up the dumbbells are there There you go, come on. Nine. Three. Rest. 
<sighs> okay. <sighs> Good job. One leg at a time for the last circuit. Three exercises. Forward lunge, round one. Lateral lunge, round two. Curtsy lunge, round three. Five seconds. Left leg, we start with you. Let's go. Forward. Heel toe. There you go. Three. Rest. All right. Same move with the other leg. We're going to go move by move. So left leg, right leg, forward lunge. Left leg, then right leg, lateral. Left leg, then right leg, curtsy. And we're done. Switch legs and go. Can we go one more together? Three, two, good. Now, that leg is resting, okay? We're going out, lateral, okay? You're just gonna stay out here. You don't have to come in and out. Whew. Ready? Let's go. Be patient with this one. Don't get out there and lift and then try to roll your back up. Sit down. Give yourself time to dig your heel in and transition back up. Four. Rest. We do the same thing with the other leg. This is the home stretch, okay? Don't doubt it. Just keep breathing. Laterals with the other leg. Whatever leg you just did, rest it. Let's go. Make sure your chest is out before you come up. Chest up, dig the heel. I promise that's gonna get the right muscles working. Five. And rest. Last two exercises. The leg that was just working is now curtsying. Okay, if you don't want to curtsy, just regular reverse. The option for your dumbbells to go overhead is there. Let's go. And this option is there for a shoulder challenge. When the option is there, take it if you feel good about it. If you're fighting it the whole time, just bring it right here. Okay, shoulders, dumbbell stays over the hip, and then you stand. Seven. Yep, there you go, come on, three. And rest. Ready, 30 more seconds of work. Curtsy lunge on the other leg, and you've made it. We've made it. Ready, dumbbells up, come on. Three, two, one. Sit. Stay with me. Breathe at the top. 12. Good job, six. Three. And rest. <sighs> Hinge forward. Good job, don't leave yet. You've made it to your cool down, but give me a couple minutes here. Hands down, feet back, and drop down, hands and knees. Good work. 
nice strength training session. Let your hips float back. Fill your belly up. Shift forward with your hips. Don't forget if you gotta run, cool down at some point today. Stretch again another time. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and comment below, I crushed it today. Then tell your teammate right above you, great job teammate. Good work. This is a great one for finishing with that lower body, upper body kind of combo. Just getting your spine relaxed a little bit. Decompress it. Good, tuck your toes, lift your hips up. Drive your body back where your heels are into the ground, reaching for the floor as you slowly walk back to your toes. And if you need to, look up here. Good job. Breathing deep. There you go, one more. Exhale, bend your knees and roll up. Great job. Let's keep with the lower body for a second. Pull your heel to your glute. In the cool down, remember you're starting your recovery right now, okay? So your recovery period is from the end of the last exercise, last second, up until the warm up for next workout, okay? In that time, you gotta take advantage of things like this, switch legs, hydration, rest, movement still, but you don't need to pack on a ton of intensity in a day if you want optimal recovery, especially for strength and especially, especially for hypertrophy, if you wanna add some muscle and definition to your body. Hands on your tailbone, give me a gentle push forward. Just keep your head neutral. There we go, arms up. Good, leave this workout today feeling so pumped about the fact that from now until the next workout, you get the opportunity to do great things for your body. Okay, switch and pull. Something that we all really tend to forget is that doing great things for our body is not just in a workout. Okay, this is great, absolutely, I love it. I'm obsessed, obviously. But from here until the next workout, we can make the next workout better and more effective and we can be more efficient in our goals if we pay attention to what matters and what makes the biggest impact. Nutrition, absolutely. Don't forget about your nutrition. We cannot neglect the thing that makes the biggest impact and expect to make big changes. Don't neglect your nutrition, especially over the weekend. Water, water, water. I'm guilty of it as well. We need more of it. So together, let's do this, okay? Hydrate together. Get some good sleep as much as is in your control. Good sleep hygiene, making sure you sleep in a room that's a little bit cool, making sure you go to bed, not constantly being influxed with technology or screens or brightness, okay? Turn it off, just get to bed, relax your mind, write some things down if you need to, and breathe and stretch if you can, okay? From now until the start of the next workout, we're gonna optimize our recovery so the next one feels great, and I promise you, you will not ever regret taking care of yourself in between workouts just as much as you work hard in the workout. I'll see you back here for that next workout. Make sure you share this video with someone that you love. Comment below that you crushed it and tell your teammate above you. Great job today, teammate, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everyone.